So another day with no baseball. How are you guys holding up? Because I'm, I'm doing pretty good, you know. I'm mean, just making it, and um, there's really no issues here, guys. How are you guys doing? And he drives it into right center field. Hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today we're talking San Francisco Giants. They've actually made a couple of little moves, and there's a big story to talk about involving Tyler Beatty. And it's unfortunate, but it's not really that surprising after the news that we got earlier that he's having some elbow issues. It's not a big surprise. Tommy John's coming, and Tommy John has come for Tyler Beatty, and he's going to be out for the entire season. Maybe it's not a huge deal because we were talking about the fifth guy in the rotation. He wasn't even a guarantee to be in the rotation, but he was my pick for the fifth guy in the rotation, and I felt he was the best option. He is, of all the young guys, he looked the most confident coming into this season and last season. He looked like he's got the best stuff, and he looks like the most big league ready out of all of them. And so he's the guy I wanted there in that fifth spot in the rotation. I wanted to see what Beatty could do over a full season. I was super excited, and so this is pretty crushing. I mean, it sucks. Obviously, we're not even playing baseball right now. We don't know when we're going to play baseball. So in that aspect, maybe it's best to have a Tommy John right now and start recovering while there's no games anyway. So we'll see how that goes down. But obviously Tyler Beatty is not going to be in the rotation. He's not going to be with the team this year because he has had Tommy John surgery. And this is rough. And, you know, it really does suck because, like I said, you know, the Giants are a team that needs everything to go right for them this season in order to be able to have a nice year. That's just the truth in my opinion. They just don't have the depth right now. They have some great players in the minor leagues, but they're not going to be big league ready yet. So... The Giants, you know, I like their team, but they just don't have that firepower to compete with teams like the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks unless they stay healthy and everybody really plays well and plays up to their capability. If that happens, I can see the Giants having a surprise year. Wouldn't be a surprise to a lot of Giants fans and myself, but I'm talking about just in general to the, to the general fan who's not expecting the Giants to do much. They can really surprise people, but they're going to have to stay healthy and Tommy John's not a good start. So just going to have to hope someone else, whether it be D-Rod, whether it be Trevor Cahill, who's looking pretty good in spring training, who was looking pretty good in spring training, someone's going to have to step it up and jump into that fifth spot in the rotation and pitch well. And we'll just have to wait and see. There are a lot of candidates. Andrew Suarez is another guy. There are candidates. The Giants will find somebody, and hopefully that person will pitch well for the Giants. Now, so Tyler Beatty is out, and that sucks. But the Giants have also made a couple of other moves and sent a couple of other guys packing. One guy who we know is not going to be the fifth man in the rotation is Sean Anderson because he's been optioned. And anyway, I was kind of hoping and dreaming he could be a reliever and maybe someday be like a setup man and even possibly a closer. I just see that type of material with Sean Anderson, but he had a rough spring. He gave up like 10 runs in four appearances. Sean Anderson has been optioned, which is kind of interesting because they're not even having games now and they're optioning guys so I think it's like oh, we projected he would have been optioned around this day so we'll just go ahead and option him now even though he didn't get that extra week or two to play more games and show maybe he was going to improve well doesn't matter he's going to start the year with the River Cats should the year start I'm going to just from now on just throw that out there I'm going to go ahead and assume we're going to have baseball this year hopefully that does not make a uh, ASS out of me by assuming that so moving on they also optioned Steven Duggar. Tough news, kind of, because, man, he was, a couple years ago, he was the guy. He was going to be the center fielder of the future. Great defense, great speed, nice bat, good pop. I mean, he was just looked awesome, you know. Even, like, I remember Hunter Pence at the end of the 2018 season saying, we got a great future here. You know, even though he was going to be leaving, he was just trying to hype up the fans and saying, hey, you know, we got Steven Duggar. I see him doing big things and then just had a rough year last year. Didn't play well in spring training, and he's been optioned as well. So hoping that he does well in AAA and eventually can get his way back to the big leagues. But that option kind of tells me that there's a much better chance that we're going to see Billy Hamilton on the team. And the more I saw Billy Hamilton in spring training, the more I got excited about him because he is he's an exciting player. He just can't hit that well. His batting average, his on-base percentage, that stuff, it's a big deal to me. And when you can't do that as a hitter, you know, it's a problem. But... You bring some excitement to the team, you bring something to the team, you bring some speed to the team, and you're, you know, you're a late inning defensive replacement or a pinch runner, and you can you know, plug in here and there. If they can find a way to utilize him, he could be a really nice 
piece for the San Francisco Giants. So I am by the day getting more and more excited. Well, until spring training stopped, I was getting more and more excited about Billy Hamilton being a part of the Giants. And I used to really want Billy Hamilton when he was with the Reds, but it's been a few years since then. I'm not as excited now, but I kind of like what I'm seeing from Billy Hamilton. So he's likely to make the team. So is Hunter Pence. And then they got a couple other outfielders, Austin Slater, still in camp last I checked. Well, not, you know what I mean. Austin Slater is going to be an option in Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis is someone who's really, he's a really awesome guy, first of all. Not that I know him personally, but I did meet him a little bit at his first game. I went to his first game, his debut game, and he was really cool. And that was in St. Louis, but he was really cool with the fans. And it really seemed like a really nice guy. So I kind of took a liking to him. And he can also hit. And he's got a ton of power, but he has done it mostly in AAA. Would love to see him convert it to the big leagues. I don't know if he's got it or not. We have to wait and see, but he's definitely someone to look at. I mean, he could be a surprise hitter. He could be, he could bring you 30 home runs or something if it turns out that he can hit at the big league level. And that's something that I'm waiting to see. And I just don't know yet. We got someone who can hit for power, and that's Jalen Davis, and you don't want to give up on that. So Jalen Davis, another guy. Would love to see him break through and have a huge year and be just, you know, a surprise power hitter, kind of like last year that we saw from guys like Yastrzemski and Dickerson and whatnot. So we want to see some surprises this year. That's a potential surprise. I mean, maybe that's not the best term, but that's a potential breakout player in uh, Jalen Davis because he has got some power and he showed it last year in AAA. And that's pretty much the major updates right now for the Giants. You got Tyler Beatty going under the knife. Sadly, he's going to have Tommy John going to be missing the whole season. You got a couple of guys getting option in Steven Duggar as well as Sean Anderson. And that is where we're at right now. Everything else at a complete standstill. We're just waiting to see what happens with baseball. I'm having a rough time without baseball right now, and I'm uh, very concerned about it, but I realize that this is a very serious situation for everybody in the world, not just obviously sports fans or baseball fans, but still as a gigantic baseball fan, this time of year, I'm ready for baseball to start. I'm usually going picking up my tickets. That, got, that event got canceled. I didn't even get to go pick up my tickets, so it's really, really rough for baseball fans, but I am working on a lot of videos and I have finished my 30 greatest San Francisco Giants home runs. If it's not up yet, it will be coming up shortly later today. I want you guys to check that video out. Please share the video, watch the video, comment below in that video and let me know what you think because I put in a ton of work into it. It's just not, it's not just home run after home run after home run clips. I actually made a production. I put some commentary. I did everything to try to make it into the most professional package I could with one guy, you know, working in his freaking basement so thanks for joining me everybody you have a fantastic day much appreciated check out the links in the description below feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed it would mean a whole lot to me this is hum baby baseball where we talk san francisco giants we talk baseball in general more videos coming out very soon y'all have a fantastic day and we're gonna talk to you next time see ya when the giants come to